Hello everybody, time again to uh, tie a fly. This uh, time I'm gonna tie the, the Black Rover. Uh, exciting, uh, I never tied that before, so it's, uh, it's the first time. So uh, yeah, let's start. First of all, um, tinsel, oval tinsel, extra small uh, in the back. So I'm just gonna attach it to the hook. There we are. A few wraps just to secure it. Going back with the thread again. So, a few turns. I think I will go that's efficient then I just hang in the tinsel About there. So cutting the left over and working my way back. Just gonna press a little bit on the tinsel. It's just a small notch. Three turns of extra small tinsel. But that one will pop when I add the red silk. Some nice Japanese silk that I'm gonna use for that purpose. But first, I'm just building up a little bit. There we are. Somewhere there. And the hook I'm tying on is a 5 0. Um, I don't know which brand, but it's an old one. Um, there we are, some nice Japanese silk. There we go. So I'm just gonna add the plastic cover. There we are. So, preparing my gloves. I always have a little bit of fat on my fingers, so I use gloves to not ruin the shine of the silk. So, just hang it in first, securing the silk to the hook. Going backwards again. As you see, I'm building up the body slowly using the thread. So, gloves on. So, I'm gonna do turns backwards and then go back forward again.
out. So I'm just going to secure it. And then remove the gloves so I can work properly. So I'm trying it in halfway. I want it to be robust. So that then come backwards again with the thread. As you see, I have prepared a foundation for the tail. You want it to be a smooth transition over, otherwise it's gonna bend upwards more than you want. So, these are going to use a little bit of wax. Spot on. As you see, so just tying it in, make sure it's strong enough to withstand some fishing and casting. So, back again the end where we're gonna put Indian crow so yet again I'm doing some wax just a little bit Indian crow on, as you can see there. Backwards again. More wax. So, peacock curl. Just tying it in securely. There we are. So going that way. A few turns. There we are, so I'm just tying it in. Just cutting 
And the leftover of the herb here. Yeah. There they are. So now I think it's time for. Let me see. Yellow flowers. Then we have yellow cock over yellow. Flat silver over yellow. Okay. The pattern I'm following is Vineyard and there's a hardy version as well um, but today I chose to, to do uh, the Vineyard one So I'm gonna prepare gonna double the, the cockacles. I got the yellow one and, and black one and uh, so I'm gonna pause the video and when I start again I can see I'm gonna see if I can zoom even more uh, to, to uh, give you a better picture. So now we have a bit of zoom and uh, I changed thread. I noticed that I was tying on a 6.0 <laughs> so funny stuff. So, time for yellow floss, no, silk, not fleece. Uh, so, we have the yellow here. So, let me attach that one. Just tying it in a bit, the whole bit, make it robust. There we are. Oops. So silk work again, gloves on. This yellow silk then. Tight wraps backwards. Then we, when we reach the end we go back forward again. We have reached the end. So we go forward now. with this silk is twisted a bit and uh, so I'm gonna order some more Japanese silk some proper yellow shades Thank you. 
Somewhere there, just securing it, cutting the leftovers. the silky bit since it's, it's a bit twisted yeah it's okay <laughs> tinsel time need to double the black hackle I forgot to do that last time I just did the yellow uh, so what I'm gonna do with uh, I'm gonna double the hackle then I'm gonna tie in um, the oval tinsel and do the black silk and then continue so you can see when I'm hackling and then put the front hackle on it so ready for the tinsel then as you see I'm, I made it a bit smaller in the front because I want it to have a smooth transition towards the wing I'm using quite broad tinsels if I would have used less uh, or smaller sizes then I could have had five turns on each section but now I chose the big ones so then three is sufficient so 
so black cockle then having issues finding a good black one black neck Might get one 4B, writing 4B, black, colored black myself. So, let me see, there we are. So, I don't add too many turns here uh, since we're gonna have the front tackle. bit picky about my feathers so the front tackle here then Just gently brush it backwards. twist on this one maybe let me see
And then just adding some volume for tying in the underwing. And here's our underwing. That didn't really go well. I want it slick. Now we reset that one. Too big of a bump there. So adding some wax. Then just add it. Mm -hmm. That looks better. I'm just gonna separate all those. Feathers. There we are. So now we have made the room for the wing. Give it another go. I want them to be equal in length, of course. Now it's much better. So I'm just gonna shape it a bit, and there we are. Just keeping room. Sorry about that. I just uh, make a, since I'm gonna tie the wing, I want you guys to see what I'm doing later. So, time to set the wing. So, I prepared a wing here. So just gonna pick it up.
there's the beam. So it's gently gonna slide it over. Just gonna turn so I see a cover both sides. I don't wanna be sloppy at this stage. So it a bit There we are. Wing on. So it's gonna vex the thread. Let's do it now. Then I'm gonna varnish. Yeah, still a little bit. Then it's time for the mallard, also buried wood duck on the sides, and then a topping above. There we are. We're gonna prepare those steps and then continue the video. Time to set the mallard then. So I prepared a slip of mallard. Adding the buried wood duck. Doing it the same on my side. If there is any background noise, it's just my dog. There we go.
so just waxing the thread again and then I'm gonna cut the leftovers and it's time to add the topping there we are so time for the topping let me place that one There we are. It has a little bit too much downforce, so let me change the position again. That looks better. Put the place with that one. You see a huge difference uh, if I tie alone or if I make a video. Because in a video you can't really sit uh, three hours and uh, look at the details, whatever. So you just need to speed tie a bit. This side as well. I'm just hooking the breaded wood back into the mallard. So way too big head. I finished off too early. I might add an hurl here just to give it some yeah, let's do that immediately just to see the effect of it that's not the pattern yes you know uh, but why not some with some copper Let's give it a try and see how that turns out. Might be nice, who knows. much pressure on it. Let's do it again. Maybe one more. Oh. There we are. I 
I like it. So now I just need to wax the thread a bit. and then varnish the front There you are. Black Rover Banyan pattern. I'm just gonna play around a little bit here. Put the mallard where I want it. Few fibers here and there. So let me see if we can have something darker. So you can see. There you go. So now it's done, and the black rover. Um, I hope you liked the, the pattern uh, and, and the tying instruction. Um, it's interesting tying uh, when doing a video because you can't really, you know, you need to move on. Just do it, finish the fly. Um, normally when you tie a classic Selma fly, you tie a bit, look at it, uh, evaluate. You want to keep it yes or no, if not, redo it. and. The, that, that's how you do it and until everything is uh, perfect accordingly to you but uh, doing a video you can't wait for the paint to dry right so that's the funny part of it uh, and it's good practice but uh, when I tie normally it's much much uh, better but uh, yeah I'm pleased and um, I hope you are as well so that's it take care of there See you in the next video. Hopefully I do another one uh, during the weekend. So stay safe. Bye. Oh baby, I love your madness. It's so incredibly beautiful. Oh, you shine like gold. So selfless to all. And while again. Just love to play in your fun and